It is the 4th of the 1st, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Now let's go ahead and start on SOT.net tonight. Thailand's floodwaters threaten marine life. The marine life is suffering in the Gulf of Thailand where, the, where this river runs through the capital, Bangkok, meets the sea. Following the worst flooding in the country in decades, millions of cubic meters of extra water has been draining into the Gulf, causing shellfish and other fish to die or swim away. So these saltwater fish that are in the bay are being chased off by all the fresh floodwaters. Indonesia, a new day, New Year's Day rain brings floods to cities and villages across Java, uh, extreme flooding. At least 10 areas across Java were flooded as the country welcomed what is expected to be a wet and miserable January as the rainy season reaches its peak. Britain battered by 106 mile an hour gales which leave two dead and there are more to come in the next 24 hours. Uh, winds up to 106 miles an hour battered Britain yesterday bringing death and destruction and may return to work after the Christmas holidays. A uh, driver was killed when a tree fell on his van. The storm also claimed the life of a man on board a tanker, which was hit by a huge wave in the channel. Uh, barely a single area was spared the onslaught roaring from the Atlantic, which toppled lorries and brought down power lines. Uh, buildings were damaged, roads closed, and trains, flights, and ferries were canceled. And the Met Office issued numerous severe weather warnings and emergency services urged motorist, motorists and pedestrians to stay indoors. Uh, just extreme weather continues in northern uh, Britain. India, cyclone's deadly toll climbs to 42. Uh, the death toll from a cyclone that lashed India has risen to 42 people, rescue workers said. A French national was among the victims of the storm which hit southern India on Friday. Reports said an engineer rushed to restore power supplies knocked out by the gale. And uh, all the misery that that entails. Volcanic activity in the Canary Islands is surprising. The underwater volcano off the small Canary Island of El Hierro uh, became active in J July 2011 and has continued to be active and on and off ever since, something described as surprising by scientists. And they've got some new uh, video out today, I will attach a link to uh, some, some more bubbling gas, uh, definitely activity going on on the subterranean volcano they're calling Del Euro now. Thailand floods halt air and rail services, of course, it's a study I just, uh, or the story I just covered. Magma causing uplift in Oregon. Volcanic activity is causing the earth to rise in Oregon, scientists have found. Though whether such uplift is a sign of an imminent eruption, eruption remains uncertain. As early as the summer of 1996, a 230 square mile patch of ground in Oregon began to rise. The area lies just west of the South Sister Volcano, uh, which with the North and Middle Sisters from the Three Sisters Volcanoes, the most prominent peaks in the Central Oregon stretch of the Cascade Mountains. And they're saying um, they had not seen eruption in over 1,200 years, and of course they're past due like many others. Uh, there's a new volcano to worry about, and this time it's in the USA. Mount Cleveland in the Azores Island in Alaska has been ongoing for a while now. Uh, they're saying it's right underneath uh, major air traffic lines going from Asia to, to the United States and um, flight could be uh, affected by eruptions. Uh, another Katla warning, another Icelandic volcano is rumbling. Katla, Katla, yet another huge Icelandic volcano showing signs that it may soon erupt and cause chaos to the world air transport. Uh, that is a major understatement. Well, the story goes on the way. By the way, this is hardly the only Icelandic volcano you should be worrying about. Last year, we saw the reports of um, two other Icelandic volcanoes were due to erupt, and they're pretty major uh, volcanoes. And again, Iceland's on that Atlantic Rift, and there's plenty of seismic and volcanic activity throughout history there. Uh, of course, hurricane force storms batter Scotland, cost causing traffic chaos in Glasgow. 
and again that's that same same big storm that's been rolling through. Uh, nothing really on uh, extinction protocol new tonight. Some war drums beating that kind of thing. So over to the ice age now. Freezing temperatures for New Orleans and coastal Louisiana. Freeze warning in effect from midnight tonight to 8 a.m. on Wednesday. Excuse me. Freezing temperatures into South Florida. Hard freeze watch in effect for the glades and and Hendry counties tonight through Wednesday morning. Uh, that will affect the fruit crops, of course. More than two feet of snow for parts of Pennsylvania. As little as six inches over eastern uh, McKean County to over two feet of snow across northwest Warren County snow belts. And of course, the, the freezing in Florida story. Over to the RSOE. Um, let's see. We've got the volcano activity in Indonesia. Um, there was a an explosion in a gas pipeline in Syria. They're blaming it on the rebels. And uh, we've got a nuclear event in the state of Virginia, the North Anna Nuclear Generating Station. You got to remember this is the one that was shut down. It had that 7.0 earthquake underneath uh, earlier last year. Um, Right underneath these uh, nuclear reactors, uh, they were okay to restart back in November. Apparently one of them sprung a leak. They say no radioactive material escaped. Uh, they had to shut down the nuclear generator until they switched uh, the bad part out kind of thing. Uh, got another nuclear event in the United Kingdom in, in the Hunters Hunterston, Scotland nuclear power plant. Uh, they had to sh reduce the power output due to the, the extreme weather that they've been having. Uh, Ireland, of course, is uh, issuing reports of extreme weather statewide due to the same storm. Uh, got a big avalanche in Canada, in the province of British Columbia, in the Pemberton area. Um, of course, uh, the reports are still coming out from the heat wave in Australia. I know I had a couple of Australian uh, subscribers tell me that this is just normal stuff. They don't know why they're hyping it up kind of thing and the volcano um, eruption in uh, the island of El Hero and that is about it climate change wise today over to the nuclear stuff uh, reactor operator FOIA response shows US knew in March that spent fuel pool number three was leaking flooding a pool may not be possible due to damage Local official found with shotgun blast to the chest. Lectured against nuclear power after Fukushima. Um, quote, fantasy. Plans of doubling nuclear capacity would cut global carbon emissions by just 4%. Need one new plant each week for two decades. They need to shut the plants down is what they need to do. Fukushima whistleblower. Container vessel melting like honeycomb. Can you believe it's out of the container vessel? Yes, I can. Uh, the IEEE Fukushima gives credence to anti-nuclear argument. Clear that nu nuclear power will decrease in the coming decades. Will not positively contribute to re reducing greenhouse gases. And that's part of the big carbon tax scam that they're going on. Um, just insane. Uh, and Japan Times, boiling anti-nuclear sediment may lead to all of nation's reactors being idled. Uh, good news there. And they have reports of Fukushima women losing their hair, resemblance uh, to chemotherapy. And they have photos of that. And finally, it's leaning. Japan nuclear engineer concerned about collapse of reactor number four. Oxidation must have weakened the building material. And they have more on that story. And again, this is the one Arnie Gunderson is concerned about. It's got the fresh nuclear fuel sitting in it. And this is the one where the tank, after the, the earthquake that just happened, is leaking five times faster uh, than it was before the earthquake uh, that just happened. So um, there's a lot of bad things going on with reactor number four right now, or at least the, the, the holding pool to reactor number four. And uh, we definitely need to pay attention to what's going on there. Uh, that's about all new I have for you tonight. 
I'm going to put down a little video called Iowa Nice. Now, this guy is, uh, during the political um, hoo-ha that's going on right now, the caucuses, uh, Iowa's getting a lot of bad press, so uh, an Iowan put out this video. Uh, there is a little cussing involved, but it's, it's a pretty excellent video to watch. Um, with that in mind, that's about all. Um, yeah, of course, if I missed anything, please attach your comments or uh, your videos below. Enjoy away, can everybody. Thanks for all your support.